This video is about configuring multiple generic remote devices in Cubase or Nuendo for use with the Cubase or Nuendo Stream Deck plugins. Now, why would I want to do that, you may ask? One reason is if you have many commands you want to trigger using Stream Deck, it may be easier to split them up on multiple generic remote devices. And also if you purchase a pre-configured package that comes with a generic remote device template, it's easier to import that template in a new generic remote device instead of trying to merge it with whatever settings you had before. So let's have a look at how we can do that. If we take a media action from the Cubase plugin, and everything is as usual, the same in Nuendo, the commands you have available in, in the command list are the commands that are defined in the generic remote device in your door. If we add a generic remote device, so we have two of them, you still doesn't have the commands from the second uh, generic remote device available. In order to do this, you need to copy a file and edit it. Uh, so let's have a look at what you need to do. In your plugin folder, either the Cubus plugin or the Nuendo plugin, you have a user settings file, Stream Deck Nuendo user settings, or Stream Deck Cubase user settings. Copy the file from the plugin that you use and copy it to the Trevliga Spel folder in your documents folder. If you don't have the Trevliga Spel folder, just create it and then paste the file into that folder. And then we need to add some things to this file. We have a generic remote name row. We need to have two of those as a start. And we also need to add the names of the generic remote devices that we want to, to use. So we have generic remote and we have generic remote 2. And if we look at the definitions in Cubase, you have generic remote and generic remote 2. If you have a, a Cubase or Nuendo in another language than English, you will have other names in this um, device list, but you still need to use the English names in, in this file because that is how Cubase and Nuendo saves it in the configuration files that the plugin uses. So now we have two generic remote devices available in the file. If we save that file and now have a look in Stream Deck, we have a new dropdown where we can select which of the generic remote devices we want to use. So if I select remote device Two here instead, I will have the commands that are defined in generic remote 2. There is one more thing we could do to this file to have it a bit more usable, and that is we can add a display name to be used in the drop down. So if we add the tag display name, and call this transport, for instance. And we can add another one here and call it control room. Now, if I save this file and look in Stream Deck again, we now have the display names here. So it's easier to know what each generic remote device is meant to be used for. When using multiple generic remote devices like this, there is one thing that is very important, and that is 
that they should be configured with, I suggest, different MIDI channels. Uh, so I have generic remote 1 listening on MIDI channel 1 and generic remote 2 listening on MIDI channel 2 because if you define the same command that is the same MIDI channel and the same address in two generic remote devices they will both react when you send that command. So you need to distinguish them in some way either by using different addresses or by using different MIDI channels. And I think that using MIDI, different MIDI channels is much easier. So that's all there is to it actually. I will add a third generic remote device that I have configured and I will add a third line to this file just to show you an example of what we can do if I save that file and I will change to this setup in Stream Deck I will have the possibility here to to open and close zones in Cubase and Nuendo and I can uh, start playback and stop it and do other things in the transport bar and I also have added some buttons from the MIDI plugin uh, that are quite cool where you can change volume and you can change listen volume and uh, enable and disable it these buttons use the control room remote device these use the transport remote device and these use the zones remote device so there are the the three generic remote devices in Cubase. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.